subscribe. Hi everybody and welcome. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody, first of all. Um, this is a Christmas video that I'm going to be doing, obviously, so I'm dressed in a Santa hat and my Christmas tree behind me. Um, I'm going to be doing a really, really easy violin tutorial on Silent Night. Um, I'll put the 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 the, mu the music that I've kind of written myself, if you like, into a PDF, and I'll put a link. Um, in the in the description bar underneath so that you can all click on that and print that out So before we do get started I would suggest that you do print out your sheet music so that we can work on it together and, and you You can see what I'm looking at etc. Otherwise this video probably won't make much sense until you've got the sheet music in front of you It's completely free. All you need is just uh, a printer to print it out with um, so this really is as about as easy as it goes and to be honest with you I wouldn't normally do a tutorial like this kind of teaching you exactly how to play it because I like to teach I like students to do all the thinking themselves really so rather than me telling you exactly what to do and kind of holding your hand all the way through it I like I like my students to kind of use the knowledge I've given them take everything and that I've I've taught and all the understandings and then put them together in in a piece but it is Christmas and it has been requested, so I thought I would do a really, really easy violin version of Silent Night. Now, how you'll you'll see from the sheet music if you've printed it out, um, how I've done this is basically I've just done one verse and I've written out the words. Above the words are the numbers when you have to change um, the fingers on your string. So an O will be an open string, a one will be a first finger, a two will be a second finger, etc, etc. And then above that I've written the name of the string that you're going to be on. So for example when you start, if you're following on your sheet as well, you've got silent night. So when you start you've got O, one, O and then a two. But the O1 and O has an A above it and what I've done is just drawn a line to show you that the A lasts through all of those three notes, if if you if you sort of see what I mean, rather than just writing A A D D D A A A or the name of the string above every single note, it would just get too crowded and too busy. So when you are still on the A string, you'll have a line going across so that you know when it ends, and then you'll know when it ends because you'll see another letter, and that will tell you what what string you're going to be moving on to. So hopefully that makes sense in conjunction with. With, with me playing it as well. I'll do a close up of me playing it as well so you can actually see my fingers move. But like I say, you really, really do need to have this sheet of music printed out in front of you or it isn't, it sort of defeats the whole purpose of doing this video. So um, I'm going to play it through for you and then I'll go through one or two little bits that I just wanna have a talk, chat to you about so that you can understand. So that is the final finished product of Silent Night that I'm going to help you all play. So um, as far as keys concerned, um, some of you might out, might be out there saying, oh, it should be in this key, it should be that key. It doesn't really matter what key I've put it in. I've purposefully done it in this key so that we're using a lot of open strings and we're using um, just fingers one, two, and three, and it's it's not it's not too complicated. So I've done it in this key so that it is not too complicated. So basically, this is as, as easy as you will probably get it to be. I'm kind of assuming that you all know how Silent Night goes as well. So if you just wanted to change one or two slight little bits of rhythm, it, it really doesn't matter. You know, go on w w how you know the song to be. So you'll know whether it's gone right or gone wrong, or that finger shouldn't be on that string, whatever it, it is, because you'll you'll know how the song goes. So I'm kind of assuming that as well. Um, 
so yeah, as far as um, what key it's in, this can be in many different keys, but I've done it in this particular key so that it is as easy as it's going to be for you all. Um, there were a couple of bits in there where I was ending on, um, I had a second finger on a D string, so I was on the first line, Silent Night, Holy Night. That one ends with a second finger on a D. And the next one, all is calm, all is bright. So all, we're going over to the E string. So I know that we're, we're jumping a couple of strings there, but what you're gonna have to do is just sort of stop the bow, move the bow over to the E string, and then start playing again. So you're just stopping the bow. Stop the bow, move. Try not to have the bow moving as you're stopping. Uh, sorry, as you're, try not to have the bow moving as you're trying to move it over to the E string from the D. Otherwise you'll get too many open strings and all the other things in between it. So try and stop the bow, move it, and then continue on playing and you'll get faster and, and faster at, at that. Um, I guess I could have avoided that, but if I had have avoided that, then we would have been doing even more string crossings or all the fingers would have been different and it would have completely defeated the object of trying to make this as, as easy as possible so that you guys can at least play something Christmassy, even though you might have only just started last week or a couple of months ago, or you just fancy doing something Christmas, whatever. So, um, for example, so let me just go through the first line or so, so that you can just understand what I've written on the music. So for silent, um, I've got O, one, O, and then above the, the zero, or the O, I've written an A and a line going across. So I'm gonna be doing O, one, O on the A string, all for the word silent. And then for night, I'm going to be playing on the D string, a second finger. And then for holy, I've got O, one, O, and that's all on the A string and then a two on the D string. And then I've got an O2 open E's. And then I've got a two on the A string. Another three, another three, another O. On the next line for round, I've got a one on the A. Yon is another one. Virgin would be three, two, one, all still on the A string. So it's it's really quite quite simple. So I've done it this way with the words so that you can see it rather than having the music written out again to make it as rock bottom simple as I possibly can so that all you guys out there that may have just literally have picked up the violin after 20 odd years or last week can at least have a go at playing something Christmassy. Why not? It's Christmas. So the only other thing that I think I want to mention there is some of your second fingers. So if any of you have been following some of my other videos or this is something you might know anyway, the first fingers will always go on, on the dot if you've got some lines there. I've got a video called Don't Fret. I'll see if I can try and put a link up to it here where it will tell you where to put the lines on your, on your violin. It's like a sticker that you place on underneath the string ranging the whole fingerboard and it's already got the lines for the first finger, third finger, fourth finger and, and so on. So assuming that you know where to put the first finger that will go where that always goes. The third finger will go where the third finger always goes but the second finger we know can either go next to the third or it can either be right back and it will be next to the first finger. So in this one for all of the second fingers I believe bar one they're all going to be stretched and I've written that in red underneath all of the twos. So the ones will go on the line, the threes will go, the threes will go on the other line and all the twos will go right next door to the third finger with exception of um, sleep in heavenly peace. So that's going to be heaven um, the first part of heavenly, hev or whatever it is, is going to be a back two on the E string. So you've got back two, and then a stretched A, oh, sorry, a stretched two on the A string. So back, then stretched. But that's easy enough to do because you've got a two, which is back, and then you've got an open E in the middle of that, and then you've got another stretched two. So you just have to practice um, one minute, it's back, then you've got an open string in the middle, and then you just stretch it again. So it shouldn't be too complicated to do. Um, so uh, I'm going to play it again. I'm gonna change the camera angle around 
um, and then you can see a close-up of my fingers so that you can see me moving on different strings and perhaps you can watch me do that related to the music as well and have a go at it yourself. So this is Silent Night up close. <laughs> So I apologise if there are any um, intonation errors on in there, but um, in order to get the angle for the camera, I was actually having to play down here at this point here, trying not to hit any, hitting into the legs of the camera. So if it sounded a little bit not quite as good as I just did earlier, it's because I was angling the violin down towards the ground so that you could all see and I didn't have to move the camera and then move it all back again. So that's Silent Night. Um, uh, I, I really hope that that helps you. If you've got any comments, leave them in the in the box underneath. Um, but I hope that helps you all, and uh, Merry Christmas, and I'll catch you all next time. Subscribe.